Open close principle example. Let's take a look at this user class that has a name, a password, a type, and a logging function which controls the privilege object inside the user class. Due to the type attribute, we will need to modify the logging function each time we add a new type. This code is open for modification, but not open for extension. Let's refactor it so that it is open for extension, but closed for modification. You can start by creating abstract classes that will define the core interface for a user class, which has the sole purpose of logging in a user. Define an abstract private method to set the privilege and a logging function which encapsulate the usage. Don't forget to render it from ABC to define this class as abstract and to use the abstract method decorator. You can then create a concrete user class that will define the behavior for our current use case. Let's call it customer and administrator. You can customize the code to reflect the behavior of the current user. Now this code is open for extension and closed for modification. If you want to add a new type, you can then add another user based on the abstract classes and you don't need to modify any existing code to accommodate the new user.